The last time UVA played a football game in Scott Stadium, Lavelle Davis, Deshaun Perry, and Devin Chandler did too. That was on November 12th of last year, and now nearly 300 days since the November shooting that killed those three players on grounds, UVA returned to Scott Stadium, carrying the memory of their former teammates today. Nothing will ever be able to fill their void, but after a moving home opener today in Charlottesville, Brian Smith tells us how they'll always be remembered. But the impact will always be with us. It was one of the more emotional home openers for the Virginia Cavalier football team. With their families in attendance, the school had three parachuters drop into Scott Stadium with the jersey numbers of Devin Chandler, Deshaun Perry, and Lavelle Davis Jr. The three were shot and killed on campus in November last year. Um, I thought it was it was an awesome, awesome moment done very, very well. Uh, you know, a great example for, for, for honoring the lives of, of, of young men who were, who were lost too soon. The Hoos then played on as they took on James Madison for the first time since 1983 and did so without starting quarterback Tony Musket out with a shoulder injury. So instead, true freshman Anthony Calandria got the start. The Dukes bolting out to a first quarter lead with some trickery. Jordan McLeod to Taji Hudson, who finds Phoenix Groves for a four-yard score to make it 7-0. They had up to the 14-0 before UVA got within seven. And in the second quarter, running back Mike Hollins with his first touchdown of the season. He had two on the day and was among the two people wounded back in November. He's a walking miracle, and, and I'm going to say that uh, every time I get asked about him. Virginia would get its first lead of the game in the third quarter. Calandria, who passed for nearly 400 yards, the 75-yard toss to Kobe Pace for a 21-17 advantage. They would build the lead to 35-24 before bad weather hit the area and delayed the game for about an hour. JMU rallied to get within five, and with less than a minute left in the game, McLeod to the beach native Kalen Black, and the Dukes hand the Cavs a heartbreaking 36-35 loss. Going out there and playing for those two guys, like, it was just, it was surreal. Head coach Tony Elliott probably put it best when he said it's more about legacy than wins or losses losses in a game like this. That's something they're trying to honor for Deshaun, Devin, and Lavelle. Brian Smith, 13 Sports, Charlottesville.